You've probably noticed in recent years that there's been an increasing amount of media chatter about the idea of eating insects to save the planet. Meat might be contributing towards climate change, and so to do our part, we should start eating insects instead. And besides, insects are apparently a good source of protein. Saving the planet from an ecological disaster is presented as an unquestionably noble goal, which it is, so why is this problem being approached in a manner that seems designed to elicit the greatest degree of hostility? If you wanted someone to eat insects as part of their regular diet, why would you present it like this, or even worse, like this image that The Guardian used of a woman apparently eating an uncooked cricket? Unprocessed bugs, so fresh looking, it seems they might still be alive. It looks as though this was designed to make the average reader feel gross at the prospect. If this is so important for us to do, why is it a subject that is not raised with more sensitivity towards the target audience? And it's not like they are unaware that insects aren't a staple food of European people. As the New York Times tells us in one 2018 article on the subject, quote, "...only in the West have we resisted such gustatory pleasures. We're quick to down slippery oysters, stinking cheese, and hot dogs made of entrails unknown, but we shy away from anything that might have once crawled, hopped, or hovered over a picnic blanket." End quote. They provide us with common sense reasoning as to why this might be. Europe is just home to just 2% of the world's edible insects, so Europeans, and by extension European settlers in North America, never had a bug-eating tradition. Well, that's true. We don't have a bug-eating tradition. They also inform us that we largely consider insects dirty and drawn to decay, signifiers and carriers of disease. We call them pests, a word in Latin whose root means plague. And we are also informed by the New York Times that European Christian tradition also warns us against the eating of insects. So we can conclude that we have inherited a deep-seated cultural aversion against the consumption of in insects for reasons that are not arbitrary. So when faced with this cultural barrier, one might try to get around it by pointing out that, in fact, you already eat insects on a regular basis by accident. As Scientific American put it, quote, "...to have insects spice up our food is unavoidable, but harmless. The op-ed pieces screaming about the gross stuff the FDA lets us eat are overblown and underinformed." And that might well be true. But why does it have to be presented in such a derisive manner? We have old traditions that were built up out of a need for clean food that has been infused into us as a part of our culture. We have aesthetic standards that we set and expect for our food, not just in the way that it tastes, but the way that it de is delivered. We expect a certain degree of preparation, which denotes an accommodation of our sensibilities, which shows that we acknowledge the person we are serving food to as an equal in society, and shows that we have no designs against them. This is food we ourselves will eat, or would eat, so you can be confident in eating it too. I think the way that we eat is an important part of the rituals of civilization that separate us from what we consider to be savagery. We see at a certain level we see a certain level of separation between rawness and the preparedness of food as being morally desirable and disrespectful when it's not observed, such as what recently happened in the US Capitol when troops stationed there were served uncooked food. By our cultural standards, insects in our food implies a lack of hygiene in both storage and preparation, and that someone would serve food like that demonstrates contempt for the person for whom it is intended. It provokes in us a powerful moral revulsion that originates from one of these unspoken but deeply held rules to which we all abide. If I would serve uncooked food that was crawling with bugs to a guest at my house, I would be rightfully mortified and apologise profusely. So why does it appear as if the people advancing the insectivore argument are salivating at the prospect of watching you eat the bugs? Why does it seem like they get a kick out of the idea? There is a kind of glee 
intermingled with the arguments for why you should habituate yourself to lower standards, and a rank disconcern for your petty objections. Don't you realise it's the future of the planet at stake? What's so special about you? Insects are nutritious. So, here is your dinner of raw insects. Now eat it. There's a hint of malice beneath the surface of this, as if this is a form of secret humiliation. They seem to enjoy debasing the dignity you hold for your own personhood, the part of you that says it's wrong to do some things because they are beneath you. It seems that they know you consider eating bugs to be a taboo, and they take hidden joy in trying to make you break it. This ethos seems to go for almost all standards of personal conduct, in fact, and makes one wonder what kind of person it will produce. Don't work hard. Don't get married. Don't have children. Eat the bugs. Live in the pod. Consume Netflix. It's degrading to what you as an individual can and should be. It is enervating to your future prospects. It is not in your best interests to live this kind of life. It is merely pleasurable in the moment, but it is also a recipe for future nihilism, depression and suicide. It is not what I would wish for my own children, so why would I wish it for anyone else? And this is not to mention the cumulative civilizational cost we incur from this kind of widespread behaviour. This attitude has shades of malevolence, as if the people attempting to make you eat the bugs know this is an assault on your own self-respect, and if they can get you to consent to this, then it will be all the more easy to persuade you to consent to worse. And the funny thing is, I'm not even against the idea of eating bugs, at least in principle. I love prawns and other like bug-like seafood, but I do expect these things to be properly prepared. I don't want to just have them slapped down raw on my plate. The fact that this is being so barbarously presented makes it seem like an, a deliberate affront to one's humanity. I'm not interested in having a conversation with the kind of people who would reveal this kind of underlying animus against me. I resent being told, you are merely an animal. There is nothing sacred about your person. You are the same decaying organic matter as everything else. There is nothing special about you. Now eat the bugs.